we want to hit it up in the air. So what do we do? Like we get right here and a natural athlete just kind of goes, to kind of, just to kind of help it up, you know what I mean? Let's get under there. And there's me covering it. Whenever it touches a little bit of ground before the ball, like the little bit, it's this right here. I have a couple players who do this, where they get right here, and the hip just goes a little bit this way, and the club drops, rather than this hip staying up, and the upper body turning more on top of it. You see how clipped that was right there? So check out the drill. This is, this is pretty sweet. Going between the legs at a 45 degree angle. This is pretty sweet. What's kind of nice about it is it keeps the club straight back because you have this thing here. So it keeps the club straight back and it keeps you on top of it. Doesn't let it get inside. Kind of a visual there that helps. But what it really does guys is what happens when this, I can't get my I, I can't I can't get this hip to go. So it, watch what it does to my upper body. It's the exaggerating feeling of my upper body covering the ball and not having my lower body shoot out that way. Be my guest. <laughs> really controls the low point, you guys. Because watch when this goes. Watch this club drops. Now ready for this? This is for chipping. This is for chipping, pitching, everything. When this stays up. Direct angle of attack, upper body covers, much better contact. You feel that? Um, a lot of our followers or subscribers know Brian Stark, star player at Oklahoma State. Um, it is his tendency a little bit to drop this hip in with his chipping right there. And really, this has been the one thing in, in Brian's game, if we, if we can knock this out, we, we firmly believe we have, you know, obviously already still is one of the best golfers in the United States, but man, he gets that down, he's gonna be tough to beat. Um, but this is big, it just, it prevents the right hip from coming towards me. It keeps the upper body moving on top of the lower body. Yeah, it's not that he's not rotating his lower body, it's just upper body sinking up with it. See that? Beautiful, you feel that? Yeah. You do need a little bit of that in really every little part of your swing. Okay. Just a little bit of this in general. And you know what that is in the swing? This in the swing, you guys, is going to the top and the ability to rotate through impact without that trail hip getting any closer to the ball, which is the, the key to keeping in your spine angle, maintaining your spine angle and the upper body getting on top of your lower body and making sure that, yeah, you cover the golf shot. So that's a really, really great way to, to get it. And what's, what's funny about this too is what our golfer, what a lot of golfers need to understand, guys, is this. The tendency is to hit the ball. We want to hit it up in the air. So what do we do? Like we get right here and a natural athlete just kind of goes, to kind of, just to kind of help it up, you know what I mean? Let's get under there. You know, but the thing about it is, yeah, thanks, buddy. The, um, the loft on the golf club is going to do that for you. So there's that four inch strip of grass in front of the ball that I'm focused on. And there's me covering it. And that really keeps that low point very consistent. Really good. All right, keep it up. Do a few more of those for me, bud. Beautiful, do you feel that one? You know what that was, right? It was a completely different takeaway. The takeaway was in front of you versus the one that got a little bit behind you early. And the, and the, and the, one, the one that he got a little behind him early, you guys couldn't probably tell from that angle. You might be able to tell that he got a little quick with it. Quick just meant that his club parted ways with his body real quick, got behind him. And then that also put the club on the inside path, caught some grass before the golf ball. Beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. Listen, guys, we're going to do this perfect, okay? And you notice the towel hanging on the alignment rod next to the station over there? Yes, that is absolutely exactly what it's for. For him, for every shot that he hits, to go over and wipe that face clean. It's a pet peeve. The more I've watched golf, I love seeing wedges spin tight, come off the face nice and sharp. And when that grass is between the grooves and the face and the ball, you just don't get the same interaction. And it wears the face down more, you know, deadens the face, kind of chips it up and stuff. So huge, huge, huge little, little piece of advice. You see, the, you see the pros, they always have like, they have like little brush now they strap onto the, the belt. He's got the little, little, that's pretty cool. It's almost like a little switchblade. You click, press the button, and it goes, yep. And he's, you know, hey, in between every shot, get, 
save your wedge, clean that baby up, and you're also gonna get better, a better quality of shot, more consistency of shot. So it's very important, keep the faces clean. And those dads out there that are probably gonna now go and show their sons this, who have the, the cake dirt between their grooves, the guys who think that that doesn't affect anything, dude, it drives me crazy. You've got to clean those clubs, okay? Respect those clubs and they'll, give you, they'll treat you better, I promise. The big one for you is I want your head to stay underneath the ceiling. So first things first, being picky again. Hips over ankles. Now, you know what? I love showing 18 year old Cameron Sisk. Great video here. 17th hole, Monterey Peninsula Country Club. Watch Cameron, not just the club, but watch his head at the top, watch his head. If I were to keep a ceiling right here, he's staying right underneath that ceiling. Now, watch us and watch according to the tree line in the distance. Look where the bill of our cat is, cap is in the tree line. Everything raises up there to the top, right? Now, it's better than dropping too low, I think. I always think that. But I talked about how, see how you're moving back to where your hip joint actually is. You're, you're sitting back and you're moving back to it. And then you have to get back down after it, right? And that's where the changing of levels happens a lot for him. And you can see, look at, he gets back into it. And this is a great move to have, guys, but I don't want him to have to go that hard into it. It's the ball. And see, what's great for him, his tendency, and he knows this, is to start going down before his arms travel. And then he's a little stuck. Getting those arms in, in the body together on the way through, that's the key, okay? This was set up. The elbow and the ceiling are all one feeling. That <laughs> kind of rhymed. Elbow and the ceiling are all one feeling. We got this. All right. Because we got to narrow it down. It can't be like this, 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 and this. It's got to be, okay, hips there, elbow, ceiling, all one feeling. And then here we go, ready? From there, compression. Back of the left arm, left pocket, boom, down to the golf ball. Good. I love that. I love that. And I just want to make sure that, you know, every time that your chest goes down, your arms are moving in front of that motion. Ready? Here, I'm, I'm under the ceiling and in front of that motion, not, not down and then catching up. In front. All right. Yes. That's the, the, the down first with the chest and then arms coming in later will hit the ground back there. Okay. Close right there, very close right there. Look at that divot in front of the golf ball and try to get your club going right through it. There was the shot we're looking for. There is what we're looking for. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about.